Okay, welcome to our session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, show that the points A having coordinates 2, minus 2, B having coordinates 14, 10, C having coordinates 11, 30, and D having coordinates minus 1, 1 are the vertices of a rectangle. Now, these are the vertices. We have to show that these are the vertices of a rectangle. In order to show that these are the vertices of a rectangle, we have to show that opposite sides are equal and diagonals are of equal length. Because in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal and diagonals are of equal length. Let's now begin with the solution. Let's first recall the distance formula. If P has coordinates x1, y1 and Q has coordinates x2, y2, then distance between these two points is given by square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So by using this formula, we will now find length of opposite sides and length of diagonals. Now we will first find AB. Coordinates of A are 2 minus 2 and coordinates of B are 14, 10. Now by using distance formula, AB is equal to square root of 14 minus 2 whole square plus 10 minus minus 2 whole square. Now this is equal to square root of 12 square plus 12 square. And this is equal to square root of 144 plus 144. And this is equal to square root of 288. So AB is equal to square root of 288 units. We will find BC. Coordinates of B are 14, 10 and coordinates of C are 11, 13. BC is equal to square root of 11 minus 14 whole square plus 13 minus 10 whole square. This is equal to square root of minus 3 whole square plus 3 whole square. And this is equal to square root of 9 plus 9. And thus BC is equal to square root of 18 units. Now we will find CD. Coordinates of C are 11, 13 and coordinates of D are minus 1, 1. So CD is equal to square root of Minus 1 minus 11 whole square plus 1 minus 13 whole square. Now this is equal to square root of minus 12 whole square plus minus 12 whole square. And this is equal to square root of 144 plus 144. And this is equal to square root of 288. So CD is equal to square root of 288 units. Now we will find AD. Now coordinates of A are 2 minus 2 and coordinates of D are minus 1, 1. By using distance formula, AD is equal to square root of minus 1 minus 2 whole square plus 1 plus 2 whole square. This is equal to square root of minus 3 whole square plus 3 whole square. And this is equal to square root of 9 plus 9. And this is equal to square root of 18. So AD is equal to square root of 18 units. 
see that AB is equal to CD. As they both are equal to square root of 288 units. And BC is equal to AD. As they both are equal to square root of 18 units. So opposite sides are equal. Length of diagonal AC. Coordinates of A are 2, minus 2 and coordinates of C are 11, 13. So AC is equal to square root of 11 minus 2 whole square plus 13 minus minus 2 whole square. This is equal to square root of 9 square plus 15 square. And this is equal to square root of 81 plus 225. And this is equal to square root of 306. So AC is equal to square root of 306 units. Now we will find length of diagonal BD. Coordinates of B are 14, 10 and coordinates of D are minus 1, 1. BD is equal to square root of minus 1 minus 14 whole square plus 1 minus 10 whole square. And this is equal to square root of minus 15 whole square plus minus 9 whole square. And this is equal to square root of 225 plus 81. And this is equal to square root of 306 units. So, length of diagonal BD is square root of 306 units. Now, we can see that diagonal AC is equal to diagonal BD. We can say that since opposite sides... And diagonals are equal. Therefore, A having coordinates 2 minus 2, B having coordinates 14, 10, C having coordinates 11, 13, and D having coordinates Minus 1, 1 are vertices of a parallelogram. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.